Hi, I'm Tamir from Taddy Brothers, and in this video I'll show you how to set up and operate your one-channel digital RV rear view system. Before we get started, let me give you two pointers. The first one is, don't be scared to try stuff. You're not going to break it. We make this in a very durable way, and it's meant for you guys to enjoy and just take it easy. The second one is, bench test everything. It'll give you a better understanding of how the system works. It'll also make the installation smoother and cleaner. Just make sure you see everything working before you permanently mount it on your vehicle. So here we go. The first thing I want to break down is what comes in the package. When you purchase this system, it comes with a 7-inch digital monitor. It comes with a bird's eye view camera that you see right here with an elongated bracket so it's easy to install and you get a better field of view. It comes with two pigtails, one for the camera, one for the monitor, and once again you get two cameras, uh, two antennas, one for the monitor and one for the camera. If you purchase the 9 inch version of it, it works the same, it's just a matter, we're just showing you the operation here of the system itself. So first let's, let's start putting the system together. When you get it, you might see that the screen looks a little weird. That's because it's got the cover. So what you want to do is you want to pull the little red thing, the little tab, and then you have the screen right there. You could throw that out. You're not going to need that. The next thing we want to do is start plugging things in and pairing it to see that it works. All right. So here you have a pigtail, which usually you plug in right here. And then this would connect to the 12 volts of the vehicle. If you have a cigarette adapter, you just plug it directly in there. Because we're in studio, I'm going to use my... My, my wires that I already have here, but generally speaking, this is what you're going to use. You're just going to strip these bottom here. The red goes to the positive, and the ground, the black is the ground, goes to the negative. All right, so let's get this thing uh, powered up. First, let me put the antennas on there. All right, take that here. Right there. Put it on right like that. And then we're going to do the same thing here on the camera side. Do it in tight, screws it in, and that's how the antenna looks with the elongated bracket. These are also the Allen wrench. You just need to, have to tighten it if you want once you get the view that you want with the vehicle itself. All right, so now let's plug it in. Usually when we sell these, they already come prepared for you. Um, but I'm going to show you how to pair it just in case you didn't get it that way. So here we go. It would look like this if it's not paired. Right? You see the grid lines already on. I'm going to explain all that to you there. But this means you're not getting an image. So now we're going to plug in the camera. Like this. Alright. So now we see here that it's already been paired. Okay? But, give me a second here. Let's turn on the brightness of the screen and plug this down so we can see the road and this is basically the screen operating uh, when it works okay let me show you how to pair it so you guys have that going for you it's very simple with the system you have the buttons right here and I'll break them all down for you but everybody wants to jump ahead to the pairing so all you do is push the button right here you'll see this nice image like that and then we're gonna go to the camera portion you see right here and we're gonna hold down this button for a few seconds Okay, but 10 seconds usually does it. One, two, three, four, five. And then the pairing is automatic. You have it right here, you got it working for you. All right, now the next thing I want to show you guys, oops, didn't use the Allen wrench. The next thing I want to show you is what the buttons do. So right here, this is the pairing button that we talked about. Right here, you have the grid lines. It lets you turn on and turn off the grid lines. Some people like them when they're only when they're going to reverse. So we just made it very simple. You don't have to go through some cumbersome menu. This is to flip the image. What this does is, if you put the camera in an upside down way, or you even put the monitor upside down, you would use this image here. Sometimes you even want to put the camera in the front of the vehicle, so you need to reverse the image or flip it upside down and reverse. Every possible combination we you could do through here. These two little pictures of the sun are the brightness of the camera, uh, of the monitor itself. So the, this one here is to raise the brightness, and the next one over is to lower the brightness right there. Again, if you're driving the day or the night, that might be something that you're going to use. But keep in mind that the camera itself also auto-dims. And then this last button here is the power button. It lets you turn on and turn off the monitor. 
when you're driving down the road if you don't want it on while you're driving. If you want it to automatically turn on, this monitor and camera have an automatic trigger. So as long as the monitor is getting power when you turn on the vehicle, once an image is sent to the monitor, the monitor will automatically pop on. If you want it on in any case, you could just push the power button and see it. But it gives you the option to do both ways. One thing regarding the camera, let me show you guys in a second here. Um, you see here you have a grommet, right? That grommet is a 20 millimeter grommet. What you want to do is you want to mount this bracket on the side of your vehicle. Then you want to thread this through here like this. That's two buttons. Let me do that for you guys. right through here right and then you have that option or actually you could also do it like this All right. One second. if you're mounting on your vehicle you drill the hole put this through it's 20 millimeters right here then this will this grommet will seal up that hole right there for you guys alright so now let me plug this back in see that we went over everything So we paired it, explained to you guys about the triggers, the grid lines. If you have the sound out upgrade, the sound will automatically work for you guys. Uh, beyond that, that's, that's really all there is to it. It's a very, very simple system to operate. If you have any questions or need tech support, feel free to call us at 866-966-5550. If you've already purchased from us, I hope this video helped. If you're still shopping, give us a call. It would be an honor to earn your business. From all of us here at Taddy Brothers, thanks for watching and have a great day.